Hi, I'm Amy Eisenstein, and today I have the pleasure of being here with Mike Geiger, the brand new president and CEO of AFP. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Amy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, happy to do that. I came into this role in early November 2017, and it's been a whirlwind ever since. I'm sure. So my background actually leading into this role is that I was born and raised in Copenhagen, Denmark. Wow. And lived there basically through high school and then came to the U.S. to go to college and then went to grad school and then worked and stayed here in the U.S. For the past 21 years, I've been in the nonprofit world. The first 15 years of those 21 years, I worked for two large think tanks, two global think tanks, the Carnegie Endowment and the German Marshall Fund. Okay. And then from there, I moved over to a membership-based organization called Chief Executives Organization, which is a membership-based organization focused on education for very senior level CEOs. And then I came into this lovely position, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, so it sounds like you have the experience. Why'd you take the job? It was an opportunity for me to take my business skills and really put them to use for an organization that, that does good around the world. When I started my career, I never wanted to go out and work for an organization that made widgets. Mm. I think making widgets is great, but it wasn't <laughs> what I wanted to do. Yeah. I wanted to come out and work for an organization that made a difference. And so when you look through my career history, it's always been for organizations that had impact in one way or another. Yeah. So when the opportunity for AFP came along, I looked at what this organization does, the kind of impact that it has and can have, and I thought this is almost what I've been working towards all my life. Yeah, I think you're in good company because we all want to make a difference in this field. So yeah. you're in the right place. Great. So you've been here for a few months now. What's your long-term vision for AFP? So I think that AFP needs to be the leading authority and the leading voice within the philanthropic sector. I think the potential there is so great. The work that has been done prior to me coming to AFP has been fabulous, and the leaders have really been terrific. The staff is amazing. The members are so committed. But I think there's so much more that this organization can do. I think this organization needs to be looked at as the leader within our sector, and I want to work with the team to take the organization to that place. Yeah, that's great. So what about some short-term vision, maybe 2018, 2019? Mm -hmm. What's in the near future? So I came up with the five goals that I really wanted to achieve in 2018. And they are the Women's Impact Initiative, education, our foundation, our website, or really technology, and then getting closer to our members and our chapters. So let me toss, talk a little bit about each one of those. Yeah. So the Women's Impact Initiative is something that we just have started through our IDEA committee. So IDEA is inclusivity, diversity, equity, and access. Great. And this is a committee that has been in place. And what we did through this committee was we created this initiative that is focusing on women and how to help women really move forward in their careers and not have obstacles put in front of them as they go through their careers. Yeah, it's so important. I mean, a huge percentage of our sector is women, so I'm happy to hear that. Yes. So about 70% of AFP's members are women. Mm. Same percentage, roughly, within the sector. But the interesting thing is only, and if we're being generous about it, only about a third of the senior level positions within organizations are held by women. Yeah, uh, in this day and age, you would hope that you wouldn't still have to be having this conversation, yes. but it's very clear that we still have a lot of work to do. So I'm glad it's one of your top priorities. Yes, the second priority is our education. So a lot of great work has been done on our education but there's more to be done. We need to refresh it. We need to come up with new topics to be current with what's going on. And we then need to change our distribution channels. So we're spending a lot of time this year looking at sort of the nuts and bolts of education. And one of the areas that we really want to focus on is using technology to deliver our education. 
Because when you get down to it, and this will come back in one of my other goals, I'm, I've been saying that about 97%, 98% of our members, the way they interact with AFP is really through technology. Yeah. It's not face-to-face. -face. So we need to go and be where our members are. Mm -hmm. Another of my goals is our foundation. So we have two foundations. Actually, we have three foundations. Mm. So we have three foundations. I didn't know that. Yes. They are the, the U.S. Foundation, our Canada Foundation, and our Mexico Foundation. Oh, okay. And I think these foundations really have the capacity to help AFP reach beyond what it's doing now. They can help fund research. They can help fund thought leadership. So they can be, they can be a true partner with AFP and really help lift AFP up to the level where I think it should be. So another goal for us is technology. So we are working on redesigning and redeveloping our website, and we intend to launch that by the end of this calendar year. And that will give us tremendous capacity and opportunity to reach our members. Our fifth goal for 2018 is focused on our chapters and on our members. I feel that AFP has moved away a little bit in terms of how we interact and the services that we provide to our chapters and members. And so one of these key goals is for us to get closer and to be able to provide services to our chapters and members that we have not been providing over the last couple years. And I think this is critical for the organization as we move forward. I understand AFP recently released a sexual harassment survey. Can you talk about that? Yes, we did this with the Chronicle of Philanthropy. And as you said, we just launched this, and it, and it really comes out of our Women's Impact Initiative and was funded by our foundation. So we think that this is a critical piece that will help women as they move forward in their careers. And it's part of what we talk about when we've, when we've mentioned about removing obstacles that allow women to move up and pursue their goals and careers. So we talked about this at the International Conference in New Orleans, and we have received tremendous feedback, both with the Chronicle of Philanthropy, but also with other media. And so we're really excited about this and look forward to doing more of this. And this also fits into the overall objective of AFP being that leading authority. All right, Mike, that's so great. Any final thoughts you want to share? As I said, I'm really excited about working for AFP and with the members, and I really hope the members take the opportunity to reach out to me, which they can do by email. They can find my contact information on our website. They can call me. They can invite me to come visit their chapters. I'm really eager to come out and meet the members and hear feedback and learn from the members so that we can build this organization to what it really should be. Terrific. Thanks so much. Thank you, Amy. Thanks so much for joining me. For even more videos, interviews, tools, and resources, I hope you'll visit my website, amyeisenstein.com, and subscribe to my weekly newsletter.